Hi friends, Tina did it here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how I made this cute little jewelry organizer using mostly Dollar Tree items. This was super fun to make and super easy. So if you want to see how I made this, just keep on watching. But before I start, I just want to let you know I do have another YouTube channel called Tina's Daily Deals where I share with you deals like this one. Your favorite resin deal is back. This is the one gallon for each part. Great reviews. This is listed for $99.99. The link will look like this when you open it. You can go ahead and add it to cart from there and the code will automatically apply and you're going to get this for only $40. As you know, deals that are insane like this one, I bring it on over here to this channel, but be sure to check out my other channel. I will put the link to the product and the code and the link to my other channel in the description box so it's an easy click to the product and the channel. But if you like what you see, be sure to join the family. Now let's go ahead and get started. So to make this organizer, you're going to need two wooden crates, two floating shelves, and this pack of hooks, the self-adhesive hooks. And be sure to pick up the small ones so that way it fits on the shelf. Now we're gonna set all of these aside. I do have this on hand. It's a foam board or a foam piece. We're going to go ahead and trace our crates. If you don't have this, you can go ahead and get the hair rollers. I've seen people use that, which I might actually switch it to that one. I just wanted my rings to be out of the crate, if that makes sense, so that way I don't have to reach into the crate to get my rings. That's why I decided to use this foam, um, but I think I am, like I said, I'm going to switch it, or I might switch out the fabric. I feel like something needs changing. So if you have any tips for me, let me know in the comments. <laughs> I mean, crafting sometimes doesn't go your way. That's the only part I want to change, so help me out. Do I just change the fabric, or should I switch on to hair rollers? But anyway we're going to go ahead and trace the crate the bottom of the crate and we're going to cut this down then we're going to go ahead and take our two crates i'm going to e6000 them together you could use wood glue and then i'm going to go ahead and spray paint them silver now before i forget to mention if you like videos that are straight on point and cute and simple projects like this one and definitely affordable be sure to subscribe and click that bell button so you're notified every time i upload a video and if you're new here welcome welcome it's great to have you here now be sure to subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss out on my next video now I'm just slicing down my foam. That's where I'm going to be placing my ring. So just taking a knife and I'm just going to slice it down and then taking my fabric, which I feel like I should not have used the plaid. I should have used a solid color, but let me know down in the comments. I wanna hear from you. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap the entire thing with the fabric and just be sure you go in with scissors later on and cut the opening that we sliced, if that makes sense. So that way you can go ahead and place your rings through. Now it's time to bring those floating shelves in. So we're going to go ahead and start with one of them. Make sure you flip it upside down and go ahead and apply your E6000. Remember E6000 does stick a while to seal. So be sure to, you know, set it aside and let it completely dry before moving on to the next step. Or, or you can go ahead and use hot glue with it. That way the hot glue kind of keeps everything in place until the E6000 fully seals and dries. Now I'm taking the second shelf and I'm going to apply E6000 onto the bottom and that's going to be the top of our organizer. The cool thing about this is that the shelves do have little openings on the back where you can hang it. So you can definitely hang this organizer if you'd like to. It doesn't have to be on your counter or anything. You can go ahead and hang it. And I did place some perfumes on top and my bracelets are hanging off the hooks as you can see i did place the hooks onto the side and then the rings are in place of the foam in the front there so let me know what you think i want to hear from you so be sure to stop by the comment section and let me know what you think i brought in a few friends and i'm definitely pleased with this and love the way that it turned out this is definitely going to go into my daughter's room she loves the way it looks but if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more fun DIYs and be sure to share with your friends. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you all next time. Oh, and I love you all. Bye.